Hey guys, finally sleeps here. Tonight we're going to break down the new UCL event. It's a bit different than what we've seen, which is a great thing. And there are a few things you may not know, so get ready to pay attention. Plus, there's quite a bit going on free to play, more than we've seen in past events. Uh, let's see. Before we get into that, though, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share here at YouTube. Turn on notifications uh, so you won't miss when new videos go public and when we live stream on, t on Twitch. Let's make this quick and simple instead of a long drawn out video tonight because I got shit to do, beer to drink, and brain cells to kill. Okay, let's just get right into the event. In the main tab, you'll be playing a series of the same skill game that progress in difficulty from easy to extreme. You can replay any or all of the skill games depending upon what difficulty suits your fancy. The harder the skill game, the better the rewards. Uh, each of the skill games gives out two different forms of currency, as you saw, UCL points and champion points. No matter the difficulty, though, you get six champion points regardless each and every time. But the UCL points range from five when you play the very first node, uh, the first time you play it, all the way up to 20 UCL points the first time you play the last node each day. They reset each day. So, okay, here's the first tip. If you fail any of the skill games, you get the energy back. So there's no reason not to just go for broke and only grind the expert level skill game, the last node. Now, after you complete each of them once, the UCL point rewards are lower for each additional one. So like on the last one, instead of 20 for that node, you'll now just be getting four on the repeat. The champion points are six no matter what though. Uh, right now at the beginning of this event, it doesn't mean that they're not gonna change things because when EA realizes how the math is so screwed up on this event, it's possible that things could shift. Uh, this is an energy driven event too, so you can hold a max of 18 energy you do not want that filling up. You need to keep your energy going. There are ads you can watch every day as well and coin packs that reset weekly. It's kind of a rehash of everything we've been doing. Now, the second piece of advice right now is the math is so screwed up on this event that you do not have to buy all of the coin packs if you don't absolutely want to. We'll come back to this later in the video, but no, you don't have to buy all the coin packs to max out the rewards, sort of. We'll talk about it in a second. So with two different types of currency, what do each of those do? Okay, we'll, we'll come in, into this. Well, let's look at the UCL rewards tab. Okay, so now the UCL points get used to spin the wheel for players in either the UCL rewards chapter, which is where we're at, or the Europa League rewards, rewards the, you're, you're, I swear, I just started. Uh, the Europa League rewards, the UEL. It's basically the same thing. It's just a different set of players, uh, Europa League players, teams that were in the Europa League rather than the UCL rewards. The one thing I do want to say is these do change after 12 days. So you can see that this stuff does refresh in 12 days. I think it's going to be a new set of players. We'll see more when that comes in. Um, let's see, once you claim a player, it gets replaced with coins or boost, same as always, plus every nine spins, you're guaranteed to receive a player. Each spin does take 100 UCL points. Uh, here's where things change over the past events. The more spins you take, aka the more UCL points you spend, the higher rewards you can claim down the UCL path. That's what this is. Now, this does work for either UCL or Europa League wheel. So if you look at these, it's spend UCL points in UCL or UEL rewards. You see that at the top over there. I showing the progress right now of 400. So regardless of which tab you choose, it still points towards that same path as you go. Now you can see I've already dumped a bunch of gems into these. Uh, 1,250 gets you a spin. It's just the way I handle the events when they come out. I did it as soon as the event began just to see if I could grab a few players and, and to sell right out of the gate, which 
did work in my favor. As you can see, I've grabbed four players. I've spun four times. I haven't had any repeats yet. So the first grab four first players. So don't know why my luck's been so good this season, but there it is. Now the last element of this tab is the leaderboards, which is sort of something new. Uh, it's kind of like division rivals. Uh, you have two different groups. You can see at the top, we have UCL group and league. Um, they expire halfway through the event. They're going to reset. Instead of a local group and a global group, though, you have a UCL group, which is a 100 random player group. And you can see it comes down here, uh, 100 at the bottom all the way up. And you also have a league tab. Now, these are just your league mates. These are just the guys in your leagues that you're competing against. So the rewards for these two tabs are perks here for the league and various shards depending upon how far you can get in the UCL group. Something new, it, it, it has to do with how many gems you're spending and how far you are in the event. It's, I mean, it's new and it's exciting, I guess, because it's new, but it's really just who's spending more gems and who's spending more money in the game. So I, I don't know exactly how I feel for it. The other form of currency are the champion points. Uh, these get used in the highlight players tab. This tab unlocks in seven days. So you can see that all of these players, you can't do anything with it. it just, it's just a random 104. We have no idea who they are uh, because right now it's still locked. But we can see that each of them require 800 points. Uh, let's see. There are milestones that do go with these as well. One, two, three, four milestones, depending upon how many highlight players you grab. Uh, they give everything out from rare shards all the way up to the elusive legendary shards. Now, the last tab is the champion's journey. This one is also locked this early in the game. Uh, it, it requires a full Bayern team to play. It all says, you know, it requires 11 players from the champion team. I don't know why it doesn't say Bayern at some point. I'm assuming that when they built the graphics for this, they didn't know Bayern was going to win. But it has to be a Bayern squad. Now, this one, it's, let's see. Here's, I'll interject here real quick. Third tip, do not... Buy those Byron players this early in the event. Wait, there are several opportunities to claim Byron players before the tab opens up in seven days. So, I, I, let's see. Right now, they're very expensive. Even the golds are outrageous. But as more opportunities for more Byron players arise, that means more will be put into the market. More in the market means the prices will drop. Don't go trying to throw together 11 man uh Bayern team right now so think about this you can claim one for free in the first offer right here you're gonna get one for free it's a 70 plus it could go any of these you could even get one of the ultimate team of the season so far starters is that gonna happen no 65 percent is gonna give you a base or team of the week player 80 or over which is decent uh two-thirds chance two and three to get an elite at least and it's going to be free so now you're down to only 10 uh, you can go the second offer for a thousand gems which has the same 65 percent for another 80 rated player so now you're looking at only needing nine that's just nine Bayern players required to buy so now that you've looked at it you don't have to go grab 11 and piss away a bunch of coins you're already down to nine so what else? What else? Let's see. If we go back to the highlight players, my gut tells me in seven days when all that unlocks, at least one of these is going to be a Byron player. Maybe hold out and use one of the 104 Byron players. Don't forget, we're in the second month of weekend tournament, which is uh, Bundesliga is the top tab in the weekend tournament. So if you focus on that tab only for the last two uh, weeks of the weekend tournament, month two, last two weekends in month two, Sounds weird when I say it out loud, but that's what I'm thinking. Focus on the Bundesliga. Odds are you might pick up another Bayern player there somewhere as well. Just don't go pissing away a bunch of money right on a Bayern team right now. 
Uh, in addition to all of that, there is a couple of main tab SBCs that spit out rare and epic. Uh, they do require, let's see, 90 rated plus two UCL players for the other one and 86 or higher for the, the little one. It's something we've been seeing a lot in all these. Uh, you don't want to miss out on them. They do repeat at seven days, so you're going to get to do it three times. That's a lot of shards, and these common and epic, uh, or the common, the rare, and the epic shards are going to come into play here soon uh, as the season kind of winds down. So don't miss out on the SBCs. That's it in a nutshell as far as how the event works. Uh, but everybody just wants to know what's free. What can I get for free? What do all those numbers mean? So let's go ahead and run them. Okay, here's the breakdown. You're going to start out the event with 30 energy. Now, you gain another energy every hour on the hour. There are 24 hours in a day and 21 days in the event. Minus that first hour, so that equals another 503 energy. Each day you can watch three ads for nine more per day times 21 days. That's another 189 energy. Each week you can open seven coin packs, 150k coin packs for 12 energy each. That's another 252 energy if you max it out. Put that all together and you're looking at a total of 974 UCL energy for the course of the event. So now what can we do with 974 energy? So each day you can play five first round skill games for a grand total of 65 UCL points and 30 champion points per day for 21 days which is a grand total of 1,365 UCL points and 630 champion points. So now there's some confusion over this, so here's how I'm breaking that down. Each day you complete, can play each of the five nodes once, only once, for max rewards. You get six champion points for each, so six times five times 21 is 630 champion points. Here's where it gets weird. The first node gives five UCL points, the second node gives you 10, third and fourth each give 15, and the fourth node gives 20 UCL points. That's only for the first time you play. You multiply that times 21 days. It is a grand total of 1,365 UCL points. That's going to use 15 energy per day. That's where the five times three. Uh, so a total of 315 energy just for your first nodes of each day for the 21 days. 974 energy total, subtract that, it comes down to 659 energy remaining for your secondary round of skill games each day. So you're gonna go all the way through all the skill games once, and then you're just gonna replay the expert there at the end over and over and over. You don't get as much out of the second round of skill games, so things change just a bit. In that second round, uh, if you only grind the extreme, and yes, you're only going to grind the, the extreme, the last node, it's another four UCL and six champion points each for a grand total of 876 UCL points and 1,314 champion points. Don't forget, there are also daily rewards of 25 UCL points. You get that free every day at reset. And that equals another total 525 UCL points. You have champion point milestones of 100 per week. Uh, you're going to get that. You're going to complete it. So that's another 300 champion points over the course of the event. Last, if you put all that together, 525, 300, um, and then you add in all the numbers we had before, uh, it's a grand total of 2,766 UCL points and 2,244 champion points. So how far can you get with those numbers? 2,766 UCL, 2,244 champion points. So let's go back to the UCL rewards tab. If you go all the way to the end, the 101 prime he only takes 2,500 
of the points. Now this is a cumulative. You don't have to spend 2,500 to get them. It just means you've used 2,500 of your UCL points. You've spent them on spins on the wheel. See, this is, things are a little different on this event. It's more, it's more similar to the way the star pass icons work than to any events we've seen in the past. So you're gonna earn 2,766 UCL points grinding expert level skill games, making this prime icon 100% free to play. In fact, if you do the math fully, you can claim him only buying five of the possible 21 coin packs. Now here's the thing, if you don't buy those coin packs, you may be missing out, you know, it's not you may be, you will be missing out on a bunch of uh, possibilities of players and boost on the wheel. They're not necessary to get all the way down the path, but every time you do play them, you do have a chance in that wheel. Now, if you're, if you've already claimed all the players, is it still worth it? To me it is because you're gonna continue to grind the boost. Even if you've maxed out all of your boost at 20, that's probably not where it's gonna sit before the end of the season. 20 on your skill boost, it was what, 27 last season? They just kept adding to it. So you're wanna, going to want to continue to focus on boost. If you're maxed on your boost at 20 now, focus on shards first, then boost. If you're not that far yet, or if you, you haven't really pressured the boost all season long, then I would focus on boost, then shards. Up to you. For me, I'm gonna buy all the coin packs no matter what happens. Okay, so let's move over to the highlight players tab. Each of these players, we already said, requires 800 champion points. You're gonna be earning 2,244 champion points. That's easily enough for the two 104 players required for that prime icon. Where were we at? Prime icon, UCL rewards. So if you look, it also requires claiming two highlight players. So we just guaranteed you're gonna get the highlight players. Prime icon is free. Now here's something that must be mentioned right now because there's no way to gem or use coins or FIFA points or whatever to acquire more than the possible 2,244 champion points Meaning at this time, the day the event was released, there's no way to reach milestone two, three, or four for more rare, epic, and legendary shards. Now I am assuming that there will be chain packs in the market or something coming that we just don't know about right now after the reset, uh, maybe on Friday, maybe something in the following weekend, something, something has to change to make a champion point possible another way. More than likely, you're gonna to have to bust open your wallet to get any of these other milestones. I mean, depending upon what that happens over the course of the event, you're only gonna be 156 champion points short of a third, third 104 rated player. It's entirely possible that you might be able to do that with gems. I mean, right now you can buy 100 UCL points for 1,250 gems. I don't know, but it's possible that 2,500 to 5,000 gems could get you that missing 156 champion points before the course of the event. We really don't know. Um, I don't know if EA slipped up or there's, it's gonna be chain packs. We know it, it's gonna be a cash grab. It's gonna be some $3 pack that unlocks it. You have to go all the way down, you spend 10,000 gems and you get more champion points, something. It's gonna have to come in there, but right now, Milestone two, three, and four are dead. You cannot claim them. That's about it. UCL event and UCL event. That sounds so weird when you say it that UCL event, UCL event. It's huge, it's huge. It looks fun. I mean, there's a ton of rewards. Uh, the only problem is there's very little options beyond which of the 104 players you're choosing, which kind of sucks. It means anything that's available in this event is never going to be worth much at all because everybody's going to claim two 104, so they ain't going to be worth shit. Uh, 
if there's a Bayern 104, everybody's getting that Bayern 104. And as soon as the event's over, he is going to be dead. Uh, we don't know what the other players are going to be in there. We haven't seen the 104s. They're not even leaked in the game files. We can't see them on FIFA renders or anything yet. So your guess is as good as mine what they're going to be. Um, probably not very many Barcelona players, though. Uh, probably some Bayern. Probably some Bayern in there. Don't know. I'm hoping for a uh, LFC player beyond that one Fabino 102 center defensive man that doesn't work in any of my squads. But I'll still grab him. There's, there's very little options. Uh, that's the thing that we're missing here. The, the thing that made Freeze and Team of the Year so cool was you had choices. You could choose which direction to go. Um, seasons in the past, it's that's what's kept player values up because there's multiple paths. Uh, which direction are you going? Where are you doing? What, what's going on? And But all of this linear gameplay where everybody's running down the same path and doing the same thing, that's one of the problems. It is a different event. I'm not saying it's, it's bad. I'm just not saying it's exactly exciting. It does have a slight grinding element to it, especially if you struggle with extreme skill games. I'm expecting one of... I mean, scenarios day one, it's easy. Extreme extreme um, scenarios skill game. Now, one of these days it's going to be gates or passing through the, the middle. I don't know, something. We're going to have a day that's going to suck. Just be ready for it. Maybe you hold over your uh, coin packs and, I don't know. The, if you have coin packs, don't go buying all your coin packs on a day that you have to play something like Extreme Gates. I don't know. All in all, it's it's like an underhanded lob across home plate for an easy home run. Not complaining, I'm just saying. That's all it is. Uh, something to do for three weeks. Uh I mean, there's decent players and a ton of shards up for grabs. So, all in all, not terrible. Just not very exciting. Make sure you check out FinallySleeps.com. Join the FootMobile Discord, which is, what, right down there. Um, watch the four live streams each week on Twitch. That's it. I'm out. My liver is evil and now must be punished. As long as you guys keep watching... I'll keep making videos.